Hello and welcome to our new investment strategy update. The French presidential election has delivered a second term for Emmanuel Macron. Despite this political continuity in Europe, the outlook for the global economy continues to look poor as the war in Ukraine enters a new phase. We think that a lengthy conflict will shave between 0.5 and 1% of global growth this year and sanctions against Russia may widen to include oil. The series of shocks from the war are being felt worldwide, mainly through higher commodity prices. More expensive food and energy have already created multi-decade high levels of inflation in the US and Europe. By year end, inflation should still be more than twice the level of central bank's targets. And COVID lockdowns in China are certainly not helping by damaging global supply chains again, adding to existing pressures. Growth in China could slow from our 4.7% growth estimate if the lockdowns continue into May. Overall, the outlook is more challenging as slowing growth meets high inflation and the steepest tightening of monetary policy in decades. Can the Fed engineer a soft landing? It's possible, but tremendously challenging. The Fed's efforts to cool the US economy leave little room for error. That said, we don't expect a recession as soon as this year, as growth is slowing from a very high base. Let's now hear from Stefan what this context means for investors. Investors are facing a challenging environment. We see three main risks. Rapid monetary policy tightening in response to record inflation, the impact of the Ukraine war, and the resurgence of COVID in China. Since the economic outlook is weakening, as Sammy just said, our portfolios are prudently invested. In equities, we have further reduced position in small cap stocks and added to US large caps. US equities are more defensive in a late economic cycle and offer more insulation from the war. Overall, we remain neutral on equities, preferring quality companies. Earnings growth in 2022 should be mostly driven by the energy sector. Thanks to put spread strategies, we partly shield these exposures. For a balanced euro portfolio, for example, this hedges around 6% of equity holdings. Meanwhile, sharp moves in US real yields are taking them close to positive territory. Globally, we still underweight fixed income with position in Chinese and Brazilian sovereign debt offering some portfolio diversification. With both bonds and stocks under pressure, where else can investors find returns? Commodities offer one avenue. We hold a diversified basket that includes energy, gold, and industrial metals in particular. Another alternative is European real estate, where much of the market is indexed to inflation and valuation may still catch up. In the meantime, the US dollar will continue to appreciate on rising US rates and lingering geopolitical uncertainties. The Ukraine conflict is crystallizing diverging strategic ambitions between the US and its allies and a range of emerging economies led by China and India that are taking a non-aligned position. The road to a more stable outlook will be long as changing geopolitics, persistent inflation and rising rates add to market pressures. That's why our investment position is more cautious to meet the challenge of weaker growth prospects, we continue to focus on quality assets to build portfolio resilience. Thank you very much for watching.